Hey guys, I'm Matt from PSI Conversion, and in this video, we're gonna go over the solutions to mounting your ECMs. I'm gonna start with Gen 3. The Gen 3 computers typically don't have any mounting provisions on the PCMs themselves. So what we do is we offer this bracket. It's a genuine GM piece. It has a flat mounting surface and it gives you three holes to mount your PCM wherever you'd like it. We always recommend mounting the PCMs inside the cabin. That's why we give you the firewall grommet. You can tuck everything away. You don't have to look at it and it's you know, nice and protected inside the cabin of your vehicle. However, GM did mount a lot of these computers in the engine bay or behind the fenders, so they can also be mounted wherever you feel is good for your project. And the nice thing about these brackets is they've got this metal clip for added security and just two plastic things to clip the computer in and it's nice and firmly mounted inside this plastic bracket. So that holds the Gen 3. Gen 4, you can see here, the nice part about this bracket is if you're running a 4L60 or 4L80 automatic transmission, you can mount the ECM and TCM stacked on top of each other. And I'm gonna go over just how that works just because we get some questions about it. So the bracket without the computers looks just like this. There's four holes on the corners for mounting the bracket to whatever you need. There's three clips for mounting your ECM. And then there's three holes for putting your TCM onto the bracket. So having M6 hardware, approximately 25 millimeters long is the best. And you would need the accompanying nuts for the TCM. The TCM lines up with the three holes just like that. And then the ECM will line up only one way onto these these holes here. And then you use your hardware to attach them and they're stacked on top of each other. They have a smaller footprint and it's just one bracket holding both your computers. So moving on to Gen 5, we offer a TCM bracket for the T87 um, 8 and 10 speed vehicles. It's two mounting locations and it just snaps right into the bracket. as well as the ECM bracket. Same concept, just snaps right in and you get three spots to mount the bracket to and they're all flat across the back for the mounting surface and they just snap right in with a little bit of force. And there you go, that's how you mount your ECMs. With these Gen 5 brackets, also remember to keep an eye on our K5 Blazer project. We'll be using these to mount our ECM and TCM in the K5 Blazer project. And you'll see how they go in or how we're gonna hide them if you need any ideas for your project. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps you get your project wired up and fired up. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and drop us a comment if there's any things that you wanna see us do a video on in the future or any questions about the products. We'll see you in the next video.